I just finished the most epic live streaming interview with the one and only Julia McCoy. And uh, this is actually the third time that I have Julia back on my show. And every time when Julia comes to my show, I just feel I learned even more than last time. And uh, so I want to share three main takeaways from our hour long interview with you. So just in case you don't have the time to watch the entire interview, here are three points that you can hopefully apply and improve your own content creation effort. So today we discussed how to write for an online audience. It is something that I personally struggle with, and I think many of you guys probably in the audience also struggle with this. There's no shortage of content, but there is a big shortage of high quality content. And that brings to my first point, which is focus on quality, not quantity, not how frequently you publish, but quality, okay? So if you are like giving yourself a goal, which I see a lot nowadays, everyone is like uh, a video a day, a blog a day, all those uh, daily challenges, which is totally cool if you can do that at the same time, maintain the quality of your content. That is always the key. Don't pursue quantity at the cost of quality. So that is my number one point. And don't even worry so much about organic reach, algorithms, this and that. You do need to know a little bit, right? Basic knowledge, but don't be so obsessed. What you do need to be obsessed with is quality. How can you produce quality content? How can you serve your audience better? Second is a three-step process that Julia uses to produce compelling content. But you have to know that Julia has been doing this for eight plus years. She has an agency, she has a team, and she is the best, she's the author of two best selling books that I personally enjoyed reading. Okay, so this is the three-step process. Are you ready? First, ideation. I was so shocked to hear that Julia actually blocked a few days, maybe one or two days at the beginning of every single week to just sit down and stay away distractions, stay away from all the tasks that she was supposed to do, but to use the time to focus on brainstorming ideas. And I was like, wow, at that time, I saw the difference between a good writer and an okay writer like myself. And uh, even for someone like Julia, who has been doing this for such a long time, and she still manages to block off time to just brainstorm ideas, to think about things to talk about. And part of her ideation is to uh, do keyword search. And there is one tool that she recommends, which is Keyword Finder. And if you are more advanced, she recommends SEM Rush, which is a tool that I have just gained access to. And I'm already so, so, so impressed by all the amazing features that SEM Rush offer. And I can't wait to explore more and to talk more about that. Okay. And then the second step after ideation is actually creation. And uh, so the ideation stage also includes research. And so, and then the creation part is that you actually put the content, the pieces, the research, the points, the arguments, everything you want to make together. And this step takes on average seven days for Julia and she has a team. So that shows you how much time and energy and effort that she is putting into creating quality content. Honestly, how many people are doing that? That's why Julia is so successful. And the last point is publishing. So when you reach the last point, you know, you have graphic design, clear call to action, and uh, she creates, or she and her team create customized images for their call to action, and double check on grammar, and uh, research reference, all those things. So that's the three step. And the last step, which is uh, a point that I really love, 
which is a differentiation factor. Because as I was listening to Julia, I, I, I was just thinking, if everyone is following this template, if everyone is following the keyword, we are all the same. What makes each of us different, right? So Julia has this uh, differenti differentiation factor, which I really love. You really have to think what makes you different, which also reminds me of my interview with Seth Golden, in which we discussed one of his best selling books, Purple Car, right? There are so many gray color calls that we don't really pay much attention. But once you see a purple color, you're like, wow, I never run into, into a call that has purple color. So that is a differentiation factor to me. And what makes you different, right? What makes you stand out? Really embrace who you are, your personality. For me, I have been running this live streaming show for my gosh, two years. And there are many, many live streamers who are talking about social media, digital marketing. I think many people come to my show, maybe because of my personality. I do have a, a dynamic and crazy and interesting personality, but I don't fake this. This is just who I am. If you meet me in person, I'm even crazier, but I'm passionate. My passion, I'm really passionate about this. So what makes you passionate about and what makes you different so think about that those are my three points focus on quality the three-step process process and uh, differentiation different this is hard to say and differentiation factor i hope this is helpful for you and thank you so much for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and watch the replay if you have one hour i i promise you it will worth your time Thank you.